The latest Auditor General's report into the management of government finances continues to send shockwaves throughout the country. It found that only 19% of the 1.9 trillion rand national budget that was tabled in February last year has been properly accounted for and only 26% of the country's 240 government agencies got clean audits. The report also revealed that irregular expenditure, which is money spent without following proper regulations, shot up from 109 billion rand in 2019 to 166 billion last year. And it could be worse than that. There were 88 auditees that didn't confirm the completeness of their irregular expenditure number. So in reality, uh, our assessment and our experience is that then the 166 billion itself is understated. Kosato says it's a crisis. All departments, entities and SOEs should, by a matter of course, receive clean audits. That is what they're paid to do. The fact that only 26% of entities receive clean audits is an indication of a crisis. The fact that the only state-owned enterprise which received a clean audit was the Development Bank is an indication of a real crisis of governance. The fact that SAA, SA Express and Denial have not submitted audits for years should be sounding alarm bells. Equally, the fact that the Unemployment Insurance Fund, the Compensation Injury on Duty Fund, the Passenger Rail Authority and Petrose have failed to submit their audits on time is worrying. In terms of the new Auditor General Act of 2019, the Auditor General can recommend disciplinary action against offending government officials and for money lost by the state through their unlawful actions to be recouped from them. But so far, most of her recommendations have not been implemented. Kosato says that needs to change. The Auditing Act was amended specifically to make her findings binding. Those who fail to implement them must be held accountable and dealt with. This includes, as per the Auditing Amendment Act, holding them personally financially liable for the reclaiming of the, whatever money was lost or stolen or misspent. We must support the work of the AG if we assist by cleaning up corruption in the state, which has brought the state to the point of collapse, has devastated many entities, resulting in many workers lo losing their jobs, and has had a huge impact upon the economy. For its part, Trade Union Federation, Saftu says, the report is an indictment on the capability of the country's black government. We are marching towards a change of mindset, even among black people, that uh, our old enslaved fathers were correct to say, and that black people can never be anything unless there is a white hand somewhere behind them. But it's not all doom and gloom. According to the Auditor General, things are slowly improving as there were 31 government entities that almost got clean audits. Mbongani Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.